So I want to get your opinion on something. I'm a bit indifferent right now. So in China, now you know China, they move pretty rapidly with uh, technology and development, mm-hmm. right? So in, they reckon in about uh, September, August, in China, they are opening their very, very first AI hospital. This is a hospital that has zero doctors. It's computers, it's automated machines, it's all these sorts of things. And you know, China has a massive popu- overpopulation problem, right? Mm-hmm. So they reckon in their hospitals that with these, the, this AR hospital, it will be able to treat 10,000 patients within a few days. That is incredible. Within a few days. They said those 10,000 patients would normally take two years to get through. And these AI doctors have a a diagnosing rate, or accuracy rate of 93%. We are living in the future. So think about that. All right. You tell the AI, hello, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm feeling this, feeling that, feeling that. Scans perhaps your eyeballs, maybe does a little blood test right on the spot, says mm-hmm. you've got this, dispenses some medicine, do this, do that, do that, go away. Done. Two minutes, you're in, you're out. 93% accuracy rate on diagnosing patients. Now remember, you can go to your doctor, and I guess that's the, the, the critical skill of a doctor, mm-hmm. being able to figure out what's wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they don't get it right. All right. So now can this AI tech effectively replace doctors? There's not one doctor at this hospital. It's going to be just AI. It's not computers, a single human being. Not a single human being. And you can just walk in there, boom, you give it your symptoms, da 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 da, and it will tell you what's wrong with you. It will dispense the medicine as well. I mean, it sounds amazing. It almost sounds too good to be true. It would be, it would be nice to see what it actually, how it works like in reality. I don't know. Are, are we just too old school because it's too foreign for us? Like, remember, I mean, Grandpa was scared of cruise control in the car. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, what you're gonna push this button and it goes by itself? It mm-hmm. maintains that speed. No, to be honest, to this day, I don't like cruise control. I. I, I, I. I'm part of this old school. Mm-hmm. Me too. I, I, I love that human act interaction, that mm. warmth. Hi, how are you? What's your problem? How can I help you? Yeah, yeah. But this is the future, it seems. Well, it, it absolutely is. Would you? Would you go? To this AR it? hospital? Yeah. Maybe just to have an, an informed opinion. Because, mm. I mean, you could go from, you know, we always say second opinion mm-hmm. with doctors, right? Mm. Go to one computer, go to go to chat GPT and mm-hmm. then you can go to Siri. That's your second opinion. Mm-hmm. The the only people that, that that actually do work in the hospital are the people working on the computers mm. if they shut down. I actually don't think this would work for me, hey. Uh, I remember I had to get an injection the other day and the doctor or the nurse, someone needs to hold my hand. Mm. Can AI do that? No, they can make a fake hand. <laughs> <laughs> make a fake hand, let you hold it there, it'll be able to squeeze oh, it with yeah. enough tension. They can do anything now. Oh. But would you trust it? That's the thing. And when you say 93% accuracy in diagnosing, I remember once I went to uh, this doctor. It was it was out of town, but it was like one of these little um, small towns up the Kruger way. Uh-huh. And this doctor was like in this little. It looked like a little government clinic, and the doctor was very junior. I could see the doctor had like just qualified, right? Uh-huh. And I walked in there. But this was 15 years ago. And they said, uh, okay, what are your symptoms? And everything that I said, they put into a computer. Uh-huh. So they said, okay, it's, uh, they said, what do you got? I got a cough. So they put in cough. And then it said, okay, what's the next symptom? And then there was like a drop down menu. And it said, okay, tight chest. Boom. 
Then it brought up a different drop down menu. Mm -hmm. And then another one and another one. And so he worked through the symptoms. And by like the 10th drop down menu, it had isolated what it could possibly be from all those symptoms. He didn't have to do anything. The computer told him what I had. And was it spot on? Well, I'm here. (laughs) I'm here, you know. Uh So what's different, I guess? Remember, this is the same China that could build a COVID hospital in one day. Or was it one day or two days? Something like that, but like the shortest time time frame ever. Mm, A very effective people. If they want something done, they do it. China is also the place where they rolled this out a good few years ago. And all the, not all, but they've been trying to get it into all of their public bathrooms where you, when you pee into the urinal, mm-hmm. it gives you a medical checkup straight oh, away. Sure, that would be something. Like you go give the nurse a urine sample. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You pee in there and it's got this computer screen. You're just going for a leak, right? And then it will say, you low in calcium. Uh, you have got must check this. You've got signs of this. You've That's got signs clever. of that. Do you know how anxious I would be every time I went for a pee? <laughs> Are you kidding me? At least you know and you yeah. can do something about it if something is wrong. Mm, yeah, well, you know, you know, as I say, early detection. Um, it's, it's like a, a, a cardiologist once told me, he said, all thanks to the Apple Watch, mm-hmm. that he now sees more people before they have heart attacks. Because if you spot something, you just go to your doctor. Early Before detection. Before it's too late, yeah. yeah. That's because of the Apple Watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, my orthopedic mm-hmm. guy that I know, this orthopedic surgeon, he also told me that thanks to Paddle, he's now seeing many more people yeah. too. <laughs> so, Fuzzlin, good morning. Good morning, guys. How's it? How do you think about medicine of the future? Yeah, I don't think it's any different to what we're going through now, eh? Hey. What do you mean? I mean, we have doctors who are like robots anyways. There's no empathy. They don't give a F-H-I-R-T without the R. Sorry, um, I'm just working out. I'm just doing the spelling there. <laughs> are you doing... Yeah. About a year ago, my... Well, he was four at the time. He's five now. Um, my son was diagnosed with epilepsy. But mm. post us going to a private hospital, ER room, after he had convulsed, um, and then there was a, apparently she was a pediatrician, and she had no empathy. She wanted to manhandle and hold my son down to get a grip into his arm. Wasn't listening to what I was telling her. And we just lost it and then went to another hospital about 25 k's away. Sure. We, we were treated with the utmost care and empathy. These people were human. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think it matters which hospital you go, private or public. Um, there are robots in all of them. Yeah. I'm so sorry you had a bad experience, but so happy that you found warmer doctors afterwards. No, we're good now. And mm. I don't think we're going to change for anything. Okay, we've got some messages here on the WhatsApp telephone. That is like going to Dr. Google if you want to do AI doctors. Yes, they can help 10,000 people. But imagine the amount of medication they are going to use. Darren, I think I would rather ask computer, tell a computer that I've got piles than tell it to a doctor's face. So, yeah, why not? I can already see the first problem with this AI hospital is people that are going to go there to get pain medication that are addicted. No, honestly, guys, I would prefer the human touch because uh... what if I fall under that 7%? That seven percent is get diagnosed wrongly and then I die. I'm sorry. I like I like human touch. I like a doctor to mm. put his hands on me. And does a robot know? Where did the robot study? Uh, uh-uh, I'm sorry. I love the idea. In and out, and I think it's great that everybody then can have access to health. I mean, essentially, that's you know what we're all aiming for. So my nephew says that imagine you have heart disease and the AI says. Your Bluetooth is ready to pair. <laughs> <laughs> Your Bluetooth device is connected us successfully. Your Bluetooth successfully. device is ready to pair. <laughs> <laughs>